Hello. We're live. Yes. Welcome uh, to our Philippa K. Steamery live stream. I'm Jody Everding, and I work as Fabric and Sustainability Manager at Philippa K. And we're here today in our Philippa K. Studio space yeah. in Stockholm. My name is Frey. I am the CPO, the, the product chief at uh, Steamery, and one of the founders at Steamery. And we're here today because Jody, she's gonna mm -hmm. show us some of the styles from the autumn collection of exactly. Philippa Co. Exactly. And uh, I'm gonna fill in of how to take care of these materials because as companies, Philippa K and Steamery, we do want the garments to last as long as possible. Yeah. The ultimate goal for us both is that the next owner of an item is gonna get something of as good quality as possible. So we need to take care of our clothes in order to the items to pass on through generations and uh, which is also yeah. why we're doing this in our Phil Bacay studio because here you can donate your old Phil Bacay clothes we repair them we remake them um, we make sure that they get back to new owners so it feels yeah. like the right place to do this so yeah we're going to take you through some of the autumn winter pieces and just yeah, yeah talk we'll about wait. oh and thank you for your questions as yeah. well so we're going to try to incorporate those as we go, we had a lot of good questions. We maybe can't work in all of them, but hopefully we will do this again yeah. with uh, new things. So, okay, Shoot. first is a menswear suit. Uh, this is the Harrison blazer and the Theodore trousers, and this is in a recycled polyester wool mix. Yeah, and I would call that a superstar <laughs> from a garment care perspective, because you have the wool, which is antibacterial in itself, and you have the polyester that is the most durable fiber. Yeah. It can really withstand any heavy duty and combining these ones is really creating top quality, something that will last through generations if you take care of them properly. Yeah. Another good thing is that you don't really have to take care of them a lot yes. because of the antibacterial function. Um, so you can feel comfortable in, in having it and you, yeah, the, the wool is basically going to keep it fresh by itself. But we do have like, for example, these parts of a jacket. Yeah. Uh, and instead of trying to wash it, um, Steamery have this product, for example. Uh, it's actually bacteria. And by adding a good bacteria that does not smell, Later on, if it comes a bacteria that does smell, this one will already be there, so the other one cannot attach. It's going to win the war. It's going to win the war. Bad bacteria. The microbial yeah. that's war. Right, that's it's right. It's going to win the microbial war. <laughs> uh, other than that, yeah. airing stuff. Yeah. Is, but in general, yeah. we should say, don't wash your clothes. Yeah. Like, as often, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. wait, use a spray, air it. <laughs> Generally, like, take it easy on washing, especially dry cleaning, all of that. So. Yeah. So you save resort. your time. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, don't wash it too much. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else this guy? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, no, I no. think uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the best one for that one. Okay, so mm -hmm. here we have a classic Phil Bacay piece. This is our pull on silk blouse. Yeah. And it's in uh, silk spandex, it's a silk stretch. Yeah. And first of all, I mean, the fact that it has elastane in it makes it possible that you can finally buy a silk piece that it's a little bit more fitted. Yeah. Uh, a very common problem with silk items being of 100% silk and you buy them too tight is that you get this seam slippage after a while. But elastane will help you to maybe buy a little bit more fitted one. Yeah. Um, but other than that, this one is a simple one to take care of. Hand if, wash. Yeah, the hand mm. wash, uh, absolutely. Uh, you don't have to go with this one to the dry cleaners. You can use uh, delicate detergent. The steamery have this one that is designed to take care of um, wool and silk fibers. Normal detergent will actually break down these fibers because they, they consist of protein. Mm. Uh, a lot of stains also consist of protein. But this one is a soapy detergent that has lanolin, which is a wool fat that would lubricate uh, the silk. And uh, yeah, therefore it's good to use for yeah, it. Yeah, and you had another good tip about with hand washing that you don't have to wash the whole thing. Exactly. Um, that's another great thing with hand washing is that let's say that you get a stain, for example, on your arm. 
you can just treat the stain right there and you hand wash that little piece just like massaging it with mm. detergent and water and yeah. Uh, yeah, other parts as well. And I should also say from the Phil Bacay side, yes, we have spandex in here, but like Frey said, it helps with the fit and it helps with the durability for long-term use of this garment. So it makes sense in this case. Yeah. Yep. Okay, then we have... This is a fabric we've used for some seasons on women's, and now we have it in our men's Athens coat. So this is super luxurious, a wool, wool cashmere doublé, 90% wool and 10% cashmere with a little bit of a, a brush surface. Yeah, and I mean, this one you really don't have to wash as well. I mean, it's a coat and it consists of wool, so it can withstand the very, very most of normal Daily, daily, daily use, but we have localized one thing in that, I mean, if you're wearing it during, for example, maybe a wet mm. autumn day, and you, you might get some stain on the back, like you flip up the stains on your, on your back, that's a quite normal yeah. case. And one of the things with stains is that if you remove them as fast as possible, that's when it's absolutely most easy to get rid of them. So make sure you have a brush, just inside of your door uh, so that it's just very handy and accessible and you remove these kind of stains mm. straight away. Yeah. Pilling, maybe we should talk about that. Pilling does not mean bad quality. No. Certain fibers, especially cashmere, super luxurious, but it tends to pill. And especially if you've got a hairier surface on things. So it's really important to also care for the surface in a good way. You will get some pills. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Ex yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, pilling will happen to even the most exclusive fibers. It's a very normal thing with, with textiles that these small uh, fibers that might not be very super tight into the fabric, this will probably happen just when you get the fabric, uh, just when you have bought an, a new item. This is when the fibers are a little bit more loose in the, in, in, in the fabric construction, and they will kind of find their way through the, out to the surface. Mm. Um, Steamery have developed the pilot fabric shaver to, uh, to make this job getting rid of these small pills yeah. very easily. Um, some people don't like the fabric shaver, but that's most of the time because they've been quite weak and they have been like pulling off yarns and actually destroying the fabric. We have focused in making a very, very strong one uh, that will just mm. cut off the excess pill uh, and leave the, yeah, the fabric mm. looking basically as new. And you had yeah. also said that this works also for synthetic fabrics that can pill, right? So not just a wool. Exactly. Yeah. So getting so much good help from Yeah, but here. I mean, <laughs> I'm into it. Absolutely. It's yeah, it, it, can, it can really remove synthetic filling as well. And in the... In the world world of pilling, yeah, it's so to say the most hardcore pilling to be removed. Uh, this so guy this, can do uh, it. It's not just a cute little because uh, it is egg, cute egg also. Yeah, item. Uh, it will also help you uh, <laughs> really get your <laughs> help you look good. Help you look good. Yeah, and then yeah. that brings us to our sweaters that we want to share yeah. today. So yeah. this is. Well, a staff favorite right now. I'm looking at Frida, but we love this Corinne vest. Yeah. And the same, it's, so it's also 90% wool, 10% cashmere, very luxurious and lovely. And then her friend, the Molly roll neck. So here's another time when you might need to use the pilo, could get some pills here. Yes. And also how to, uh, yeah, you, you do your thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a beautiful sweater, <laughs> um, a very, interesting fiber blend i mean uh, blending the, the the wool and the cashmere will 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 make this super super soft but the cashmere as a fiber is it's not a sheep fiber it's a goat fiber and if you're thinking about a goat you you you, you can imagine that it has actually straight fibers long long straight luxurious, fibers yeah. and i mean the curly fibers helps the fiber to kind of attach to 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 the to the yarn uh, whereas a straight cashmere fiber will have it a little bit more easy to slide mm. and therefore you get pilling on cashmere uh, in more cases than, than, than for example merino wool yeah. uh, and other normal wools. So 
that may be the fact. Um, and then also again, we can use the, the pilot to yeah. remove this in, a, in, a, in an instance. And we had them on the table for a reason. You shouldn't be hanging your heavy knits like this because they tend to stretch out and uh, yeah, they're not gonna look good for as long if you hang them. So it's really important to fold these. Yeah. In a, Do you want to show like how? This? Oh, I'm not so good <laughs> at folding, but uh, yeah. something. Was, maybe you have a good technique. Yeah, I, or? Was, uh, I was working in several clothing yeah, stores but that's when I was when I was just a little boy. So I, I there I you go. Okay, folding, good, but, perfect. Uh, but I don't have. I don't <laughs> we have, didn't practice the folding. I don't have this yeah. that you <laughs> oh, right, should right, use right. if you're really hard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it looks. But good. important to fold it and not hang it. Yeah. Yeah. And here again, I mean, you should not wash this item either. Wool items you should really just wash if, if they for some reason are stained and that you really feel that need. Here again, the, the mist uh, to, that I mm. was talking about in the beginning is a really good help for you to, to, make, it, uh, to make it feel fresh for a much longer time. Uh, but when the wash day comes, then again, use the delicate uh, detergent while hand washing them. Um, and this will help you both to get it clean, but also lubricate the fiber and uh, yeah, basically coat the fiber so that they can, yeah, after wash withstand more. Hmm. Anything else, Jody? I'm wanting something. No. Oh yeah, yeah. you're up yeah. next. Yeah. Yeah. Zachary yeah. Tencel. Yeah. So I know you're a fan of this one, and we yeah. love Tencel. Phil Piquet. I mean, it's one of the the old school sustainable fibers, I'd say. Yes, um, but, but, but why? Why? Because, yeah. yeah, when you buy Tencel and not Lyocell, you're yeah. buying it from the lensing company mm -hmm. in Austria. So it means that they're managing the forest because Tencel is a cellulosic fiber. It comes from trees originally. So you want to be careful about the origin of the raw material, but also chemicals are involved to make the fiber. So mm -hmm. when you buy Tencel as well, it means that they're controlling the processing of the fiber and uh, not exposing they, they're, the chemicals. They're reusing they are, the chemicals. They are they're reusing up to 99% exactly. of the chemicals. Because uh, with other, yeah, we're not gonna talk bad on any other fibers here, but some fibers, yeah, the chemicals can be released into the environment and harm people and animals living nearby the factory. So this is why we love Tencel. This is not harming This animals. is not harming. And, and it factory feel, in Austria. Yeah. That's awesome. And it feels great, yeah. um, easy to wear. All of that. It's got a special. I mean, I mean, I'm wearing it right now, and it's it's uh, the, the tensile fiber is a cool fiber. So yeah. if you are like me, yes, yeah, like a little bit warm, it, it will cool you down, which is amazing. Other than that, it's it's a very easy fiber to care for. Uh, it really is. However, I mean, at Steamery we like to talk about delicate items, and I mean, if you're a, if you're a fabric nerd or a, like really into fashion, we, we kind of, I mean, you should basically see the most of your wardrobe as delicate items. Mm. And the better you take care of all these items, uh, they will last. But this one is okay too, for example, machine wash. Um, but when you machine wash it, you make sure that you put it in a wash protection bag, for example. You are, yeah, washing it with similar colors, uh, with uh, yeah, detergent that is made for the fiber. This one can withstand normal detergent. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're hanging, that when you're drying the wovens, like yeah, compared to the, to the knits, it is supposed to be hang dried, mm -hmm. which also will help you to steam it after, yeah, mm -hmm. will help you with the processing, getting it looking absolutely great after. And in general, yeah. we should avoid tumble drying things, right? Yes, is, yeah. we should avoid tumble drying. Like no delicate items that you really, really like and care for at home should be tumble dried. Uh, we're talking about, I mean, but when it comes to bed linen and yeah, I don't know what kind of socks people have and underwear people have, but they, I, I, I guess it helps you out if you can tumble dry those. We. Uh, at Steamery, we have the, 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 the tumble dry balls. It's, uh, it's wool balls that will help the dryer to yeah, take out the moist in a more efficient way. 
So these ones, when they are tumbling around, tumbling around in the tumble dryer, they will create airspace that is yeah, taking out the moist faster. So you will cut the drying time, and therefore you will also cut fabric damage. Nice. So that's good. Yeah. And so cool that they're made of wool. They, Such an amazing fiber. Th there are plastic ones yeah. as well out there on the market. Um, the wool ones, I mean, it's super fun that you can use, I mean, excess wool yeah. to create this product. These ones are made in Nepal um, mm. in an eco-friendly factory. But also they, compared to the plastic ones, the plastic ones are making a lot of sound when you're using them at home. Ooh, These yeah, ones no, are completely yeah, quiet. That's good. Nice. Okay, then we have our Samantha yeah. dress. Yeah. And this is one of our favorite fabrics at Philippe K2. This is our recycled polyester chiffon. Yeah. I'm wearing it in a spring style. We've mm. been running it for some seasons. Yeah. It's so, I mean, it's made of plastic bottles. Um, it's so easy to care for, so easy to wear. Um, it doesn't we, look like it's made of bottles. No, it doesn't. And we're able to really tailor it nicely, too, for this recycled polyester material it just it's it's very luxurious yes and here again we have like like for example like the like the suit mm. and what i talked about the good the durable polyester fiber this fiber is i mean it's it, it can withstand some <laughs> heavy duty yeah but then even though that's the character of the fiber i mean just look at it of course it's a delicate item mm. and you should trade I mean, treat all delicate items with extra care because then they will last longer and, uh, and uh, you will be happier and the next owner will also be happier of this dress. So, I mean, there's some, some, some key steps when, when, when it comes to, we have been nagging a bit about not washing. Yeah, uh, yeah. And we're not going to stop nagging about <laughs> the not washing because that is what it's you key, should do. It's yeah. Um, I mean, instead of washing, like if you want to prolong the times in between the washes, airing yep. using the antimicrobial spray mm. but also the steaming the steaming function is of course to make things the textile smooth uh, not wrinkly actually the, the the steam in itself it actually um, swells up the fibers so you get the right texture out of it mm -hmm. if you compare it to ironing that just flattens the fiber this one will actually make the textile look like it should be designed mm. um, but after, after a while, uh, when you're washing it, make sure to pre-treat stains, uh, either with a stain remover um, or simply with the right detergent. Mm. So you're basically taking a stain, depending on what kind of stain it is, but then you're, yeah, yeah, you're treating the garment exactly on the spot, uh, and then it will be much easier for you to uh, yeah, later on get to the stain away. Like I said, if you want to hand wash it, you can, you can hand wash uh, exactly on the spot. Uh, that's what the machine cannot do. But if you choose the machine anyway, uh, make sure to put it in a wash protection bag to, to uh, protect the finishing and the seams and all the making and all the details. Uh, and after wash, this one is of course supposed to be hanging Yep. and not flat drying, and especially not tumble drying. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I think what's also interesting is most people think of steaming as a way of yeah, flattening, taking out wrinkles, but I mean, we should use it as a way to freshen the fabric and yeah, Indeed. like that instead of washing. So I think that's a really good tip as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're on our last item on here, our last item. the Tim Oxford shirt. So this is 100% organic cotton. Super classic Oxford shirt. Yeah. Um, it's white, right? It's white. Makes people nervous. So what yeah, do we do? You, 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 you might want to uh, wash it and really, I mean, in order for it to stay white, yep. you, you, you will have to take care of it. Um, I mean, there's a couple of, I mean, as, as a fiber, it's, uh, I mean, organic cotton, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the organic cotton Oxford can withstand heavy duty. You can put it in yeah, the wash machine. Yeah, sturdy. Uh, to keep this crisp, using detergents especially made for whites. Uh, at Steamery, we're currently developing a detergent for whites. Uh, you will see it later on this fall coming out. It is uh, not made with bleach. It's going to be made with 
uh, enzymes that is actually, I mean, when you're washing something mm. and when you're treating something, it becomes a tiny, tiny bit of hairy. Mm. Not peeling, but still a little bit hairy. We see often that little hair as uh, something that is just not looking new anymore. By adding an enzyme into the detergent that is just gonna cut away that, mm. basically eat up yeah. that excess fiber, uh, those small hairs, were, uh, normally they are the ones attracting grayness, yeah. which is normally calcium. So that is one good way of keeping white whites. Mm. Another part is, for example, oh, yeah. here. Um, cool thing that you might not know is that this is not from the sweat, it's from the detergent. Deodorant. Or deodorant. Deodorant. Yeah, it's from the deodorant. Yeah. Did I say something else? Detergent. Exactly. Yeah. Deodorant. Yes. You, yeah. we, so we've good. already talked, we, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. on the same page. Um, right now they're coming out the, the, the deodorant. <laughs> I was almost yeah. wrong again. Deodorant, yeah, 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 you got it. I was, uh, uh, and and uh, yeah, there's coming out on the market now. Nude is an example yeah. of a deodorant yeah. that is not giving you stains. Uh, some, some, some Dutch guys developing a deodorant just for this purpose, not to giving you the yellow marks. Um, other than that, we have also, a, been through a quite big development process at Steamery making a stain remover. It will have a, a hydro peroxide. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, hydro peroxide you find in a lot of uh, yeah, different yeah, stain removers. It's the it's what the Vanish calls the oxy. Um, it's the it's the same kind of ingredient. But by trying different versions of stain removal, uh, we came to the conclusion that this is actually what's helping you the most apart from fat stains, but for all other stains, mm. the oxy is the most efficient. And if you have a fresh uh, stain from the odorant, it, it should go away after just treating it once and then washing it. Uh, but if you want to get rid of really, really grown in stains, you might need to do this a couple of times to get the stain away. It's not good for fat stains. It, it's okay for, for, for some fresh fat stains, but in order to treat fat stains, um, we recommend either dish, this dishwashing agent or bile soap. Okay, can you, what is a fat stain? I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's a fat stain. You've been, like you've, 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 been, you've been eating something greasy. Food, and, okay, yeah, 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 yeah gotcha. Food, food okay. grease. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> good. So good to have Jody because she's actually. Not I mean, if English, I don't know, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> what's a fat stain? Yeah, yeah good. It's it's grease from food. It happens to me sometimes. Oh, it yeah. happens to me all the time. Yeah, so yeah. so <laughs> it's very good tips. Um, yeah. Yeah, but that was what we wanted to show you today, yeah. and hope you found some. I found the shirt from here. Yeah. <laughs> free loved, free loved yeah, item. So I'm just gonna keep on. Uh, you're just going to, yeah. Keep on, keep on, keep on <laughs> loving good. it. Well, That's great. That That's what it. we want. And I mean, I think it's such an interesting point that you made about, like, of course, treating your delicates delicately, but treating it all delicately because you chose to buy it and you want to keep it for as long as possible. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And you will get so much more from it if you care for it in a good way. So. That's right. Yeah. Any other? We didn't, we're treat, good. We didn't treat any of the questions. Well, we worked them in, okay, I think. Okay. We, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah. know if your question was answered, <laughs> I think. And, then, and yeah. otherwise, hopefully we can do again and address some more questions or like that. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. All right. Thank you so much <laughs> for watching. You. And uh, yeah, bye from Philippa K Studio. Yeah. Come visit us. Bye. bye.